guys, welcome to the video. I hope you're well. Today's video, guys, is for season three Necromancer Lazy Bone Spear, guys. Yes, I've done redone Lazy Bone Spear, guys. And you can literally just breeze, guys, through these high level nightmare dungeons, guys. It absolutely smashes, guys. Absolutely smashes. So, uh, let's do a quick demonstration. Then we go over the gear, guys. Essential contract setup and all that good stuff, yeah. All right, let's go pop this quick 89. That'll do. Jump on in. Oh, good, guys. Waterstone. Love Waterstone. All right, guys, let's go in and there uh, go smash. Look at this transmog, guys. It's good, man. I finally got that transmog. I finally got it. <laughs> it's good, man. All right, there, guys. So let's go on in, yeah? All right, guys. So first thing we need to do is bone storm. This gives our protection. Spreads across the whole screen as well. Proc tons of lucky here. Uh, tendrils are done for you automatically because range flicks your soul. Uh, but I miss, guys, is your oh shit button. Decrypt uh gives you damage reduction and uh, cooldowns. And Corp Explosion, guys, resets your cooldowns as well because of the Shadow TOT tech. And, of course, Bone Spear just smashed the whole screen. All right, let's go. Go, go, go. All right, here we go. So, because we've got so much lucky hit chance, guys, I'm not ready yet. we are absolutely just smashing these dudes. There's my barrier. This barrier just saved me from a really bad spot there. So I was being a bit silly pushing through there, those big boys. But yeah, we've got so much lucky chance and uh, essence on kill on the Paragon Tree and all that. We can literally just cast spears, guys, and that's pretty much it. But if you need a bit of cooldown, if you need it for the higher dungeons, hit the Crepify. I need more time. And then when Shadow Pop Explosion and obviously your uh, Bone Storms are going off, it's resetting everything. Yeah, let's see, Bone Storms back up online again. I'm not ready yet. Kill these dudes. And profit, guys, profit is so good, man. You can just blast. You can literally just blast. It's so easy. As long as that, you, you're virtually indestructible most of the time. As long as the barrier's up, you're virtually indestructible. We do have a backup barrier as well. All right, here we go. It's a water stone. Love water stone. It's probably my favorite one. All right, just push through. Boom, boom, boom. Ignore these traps, lull. Go through, go through. Yeah, but yeah, guys, pretty much, guys, all you can do really is just cast Bone Spear. If you want to set your cooldown over a bone storm quicker, just cast your crap behind the monsters. And it's such a quick thing to cast as well, man. Because we got absolutely loads and loads of attack speed in this build as well. Because Lizard's Wall's got that big attack speed buff as well. And you get the idea. You can literally just blast through. And it's super easy, man. Look at our barrier. We've always got this barrier up. We've always got Fortify up as well. Because Essential Contracts give us Fortify as well. So it's getting more damage reduction if somehow the monsters actually get through. I need more time. All this crazy defense, man. But we can literally, virtually perma cast Bone Spear, especially in density. And you just go boom, boom, boom. It's crazy. I'm using exposed uh, flesh aspects on my ring. So when my lucky's going off, because wands have not a lucky chance, I've got lucky on my gloves as well, and the other rings as well. It's just proccing this all the time, man. You can see, guys, we can just literally just blast through this. It's easy. It's like an 18, what's that, like an 89? And it feels like I'm cheating. And also, guys, the Paragon Tree, the way I've got it set up, doesn't require you to do X to trigger the damage. You literally just cast Bone Spears, and you know you're doing the maximum damage you can possibly can. You can do, okay? Apart from when Tendrils. When Tendrils goes off, which is done for you automatically, by the way, because Ring is actually your soul. That's the only time when the damage will really spike. Well, spike really high. Ring of Sacred Soul is just an absolute godsend, isn't it? Hey you guys, you get the idea, yeah? Super easy, yeah? And there you go. It's just so easy, mate. You can just, you just blast through. And you're virtually indestructible. All right, guys, let's go back to town. We'll go over with the gear. Also, guys, in the description of this video, as always, is a stack guide. So you can follow that for the best gear, rolls, paragon setup, etc., etc. Rather than going all through this video, pause it and all that, as always. Well then, guys, so uh, let's go do gear first. Okay, guys, you want to use Deathless of Azarge, okay? You get this from Varsha. He, he's, he, it's your best chance to get it from him. And uh, it makes your bone spears explode. You can use Shaco instead in here for more damage reduction. But if you want to do best damage, then Deathless Azarge is best in slot. For chestplate, guys, I'm actually using Barrier Aspect because I just like the double barrier, basically. Because when we've got double barrier up, we're just not taking any damage at all. My armor is pretty low. But, if you use the new armor aspect, which is Juggernaut's defensive one, the only reason why I'm not using this is because it increases my evade cooldown a lot. I have multi-evade boots on, 
multiple charge because I can like to just invade through like whole dungeon just to get blast through super quick. But if you need a lot of armor, and you can literally cap your armor with this one aspect and you hit like the A and K. You can literally just put this onto your chest, guys. Make sure your armor has a total armor value buff on it, on the effects. And bang, you will have capped armor, okay? But for me right now, I don't like the, the evade debuff, okay? Because I like just to zip through. And I don't really get touched at anyway, anyway. So I've obviously had the double barrier. So if my barrier from Bone Storm isn't up from my pants, I've got that extra layer of, d d of uh, damage reduction from the barrier. So my boots um, and movement speed doesn't turn off, which is really, really nice, okay? All right, guys, on to next time. Also, guys, always red gems in your gear as well, okay? For the extra uh, HP. Apart from your amulets and rings and stuff, because you need to do your resistances. All right, guys, guys, is the uh, grasping veins uh, aspect. Okay, so uh, when tendrils goes automatically because of the ring of sacred soul, if or if you cast yourself, you get a massive crit and crit strike damage bonus. Pants, guys, is shielding storm. Each time that bone storm damages the enemy, you gain a barrier equal to five percent of your base life for ten seconds. Okay, so basically we're just because <laughs> it's spread across the whole screen because of bone storms. Um, yeah, you're, you're pretty much indestructible. And you can just reset that cooldown, guys, from uh, from the Capra Fire. Absolutely brilliant. Boots, guys. Uh, we are using... I'm currently using um, the bone we tread to slaughter, okay? So, mo gain 20% movement speed. Lose this bonus for taking um, damage. Okay, now, because we've got so, a two-barrier setup, so a barrier on the chest plate and a barrier on pants, I never lose this bonus because they can't get through my shielding. And because Necros are so bloody slow... This is just on all the time, and it lets you just zip through. If, if you want to reset your cooldowns even quicker, guys, with Bonesaw, you can use Flicker Steps, which drop from Durium. When you evade from monsters, it resets your cooldowns, so you can use that instead. For one, guys, always use a 1, because the lucky baseline hit chance is fantastic, and use those Splinters, guys, as always. Okay, so it makes your uh, Spones go vulnerable, and... Um, yeah, it's just best this lot, obviously. Also, my key is guys on Amulet as well. Increase more damage for your bonus skills. S and above, above 50, as usual. The next ring, guys, you can, there's a couple of options here. You can use the Bone Regen one. We can get it from doing a dungeon or the seasonal uh, objectives. And that will give you about 90% mana regen on Bone Crit, which goes off all the time. But this one, Exposed Blessed guys, is the best one in slot. Because on Lucky Hit, you have a 10% chance to generate up to 50 assets. I say Exposed Blessed is best, but you haven't got it? Just use uh, the Bone Regen run instead. Because that can go up really high, actually. It's really good. Then, guys, Ring of Sacrilegious Soul. This mainly drops some Vash. You can actually drop anywhere. And hopefully get a one-second one, guys. That is the most important thing on this ring, is that it's a one-second ring. Mine's only a 1.4 right now, because we need to do 10 draws and Corp Explosions as fast as possible. Gives you a bunch of lucky hit as well. Really, really nice. Last one of these guys, of course, is the amazing Lidless Wall. This thing is disgusting. On lucky hit, when you have an active Bone Storm, hitting an enemy outside the Bone Storm has that 5 to 25% chance to spawn an additional Bone Storm. Because, and then he says here, each of your active sacrifice bonuses increases your chance by 25%. I've sacrificed all my pets, so this is literally just going off all the time, man. And we have like three active Bone Storms on screen. Absolutely brilliant, man. It's so, so good. Well, right, guys, so let's do uh, Book of the Dead next, then the Senshao Pet. Book of the Dead, guys, sacrifice your skirmishers for the extra 5 crit. If you're having trouble capping your resistance, sacrifice the defenders dead for the extra 20% all res. Okay. Lovely. The mages, guys, I'm currently sacrificing shadow mages for extra essence. But uh, if you want to do more damage, sacrifice the cold mages instead. Okay. I just like having more essence because sometimes, you know, when you're fighting a boss, sometimes you might run out of power. An extra 15 can just help a little bit. But you should be fine now, especially if you've got enough lucky chance. Then, guys, always sacrifice the golem for the extra 30% increased crit strike damage. Okay, guys, so what is my Senshao setup here? Yeah? Okay, guys, so I'm using Tempest. Tempest, guys, has a crazy low cooldown. What, 0 0.8 seconds? Electric charge enemy causes it to deal blah blah damage up to uh, 11 additional enemies seconds over 5 seconds and gives you a, a massive damage round. If the enemy is killed, Tempest spreads to another enemy, gain 2% additional seconds and 20% bonus damage, okay? Then we're using Arc in support. That hit makes it hit an extra 10 enemies. The Break in support, guys, breaks all barriers, which is fantastic. And also makes them vulnerable for 2 seconds as well, so it's literally hitting the whole screen. And also, if you have the Butcher spawn, you guys, or any other monsters with barriers, this will destroy his barrier and makes killing Butcher much, much easier. It's brilliant. Then, guys, I'm using... Now, the last one, man, you can use it whatever you want. I quite like using Frigid support because um, 
we're doing chill and eventually freeze on the enemies as well. So we're hitting pretty much every enemy on the screen. And the construct is slowly freezing them, guys, you know. And then we could use control, uh, legendary, um, sorry, uh, paragon power, glyph, to uh, possibly even do more damage. But it's up to you, but I really quite like the fridge spawn man because that's just that extra CC stagger damage, especially on big bosses and stuff like that. Then, guys, we're using Flash of Adrenaline. We can basically keep this up permanently. Okay, gives you an extra 20% damage for 12 seconds, and the cooldown is 12 seconds. It's up permanently. And also, we're using Fortify support. Uh, we do have, actually, getting your Fortify guys maxed out on this. We're doing more damage with Fortify because of the Paragon Tree, and of course, damage reduction as well. So the pet's just giving you 800 Fortify. <laughs> it's absolutely sick. Then, Duration support, guys, makes it so uh, this works permanently. And of course, Tactical support gives you the cooldown. So basically, it just makes this up all the time, basically. It's absolutely. Filthy. So good, man. So good. Lovely, guys. Right, let's go over skill tree next. Okay, guys, you need to put two points into anything in the base shrine tree. It doesn't matter because it unlocks the second part of the tree. Then you max out unlimited energy and permanent bands for essence and damage. Huge flash guards to create corpses, especially our bosses. Then we're going to go into bone spear down to paranormal bone spear, as always. So you get that big, big split. Love this thing. Then, guys, one point in corp explosion up to shadow corp explosion because uh, this resets our cooldowns much much quicker via decrepify down there one point guys in blood mist as well as always and then grim harvest guys automatically generate essence from sacrosha soul ring which is great and of course fueled by death is even more damage like i said guys decrepify gives us a uh, damage reduction slow and stun and cooldown man it's such a great thing so when you push it forward you won't need really need to use this that much in the lobby dungeons to be honest it's only when you really get to that point where it's like oh I just need that little bit extra defense from the bone storm shielding aspect. Then that's when you just start using this. And uh, it's such a fast skill to cast as well. You just go click, and that's it. And you just blast from the spears. That's cool down to easy. Tendrils, guys, as always, going over here to uh, Plague Tendrils. So we get vulnerable, stun, and slow. This thing's brilliant. So automatically from Ring of Satchel and Sword again. Uh, we don't need Fortify from the Kokara piece. It's done for us from the pet, from uh, R2D2, Senshal pet, guys. It's good. Then, guys, max out Serration. For the crit and the compound factor and evulsion as always if you can get an amulet guys with compound factor use that one instead because it gives you a lot of damage a lot of damage normally guys i would have aspiring leader but don't need it because we've got so much attack speed coming from lidless wall get tons of it max out your bone spawn guys with the crit damage reduction etc etc max out standalone for damage reduction and mental memory guys for the sacrifice bonuses and as always also fight key and passes guys to for the uh for the extra damage man from your uh bone skills man awesome lovely what's left guys paragon tree okay so like i said earlier i've made the paragon tree super lazy okay you don't have to do x to make all the damage go off okay you just cast your spears you know you're doing the exact same damage as you can if you want to get if you want to change something you could change imbiber over to control which will give you a lot more damage actually overall but right now, this setup, like I said, is the lazy setup, okay? So we can use you can use control, and the Senshar pack is chilling everything for us as well. So you can see here, you and your minions deal 10% increased damage to slow or chilled enemies, which we can do straight away. We do slow from Decrepify, chill from the Construct, or 20% increased damage to stunned or frozen enemies as well. We are doing stun from Decrepify, and we could do frozen from the Senshar pack. So there's two options there. So um, you can change out a Biber for that if you want to. But right now, this is the lazy setup. You just know you're going to do full damage straight away. Well, guys, we're using uh, Sacrificial here for the extra 10% damage bonus and buffs the extra uh, magical bonuses around those in, in range as well. So you get lots of armor damage. Straight, guys, into Bone Graft Tree. And the next one you want to use is Gravekeeper. Gravekeeper gives you 2% increased damage for uh, to up to 12% for every close corpse, which is fantastic, man. It's really nice. Give you a bunch of resistance as well. And Bone Graft, guys, it's just disgusting so strong always going to this tree first and also guys always hit this this essence and generation here it's really important maximum maximum essence essence on kill on these nodes here is godly this is how you majority of the time you keep your power up when you're doing speeds it's really really important so hit that first yeah hit this then hit that then go up then go hit that node there but anyway, guys next trip we're going into is center death when there's the two corpses nearby you gain 15 percent damage reduction we have no corpses most of the time we're away from the corpses get an extra 50 percent damage buff guys brilliant then using biber 83 percent damage guys uh, extra damage while we're healthy because we have the shield up all the time our hp has never been touched so this is basically on all the time plus you get an extra hp bonus uh 30 on your potion if you do get hit 
which is really, really nice, yeah? Go down next, guys, to this tree here, which is Flesh Eater. When you consume five corpses, you get you near a 40% damage buff for six seconds. This is huge. That's done for you automatically from Regal Sacrifice Soul as well. So, uh, you're certainly that's damage buff. That's done for you automatically, as always. Brilliant. Then, guys, Essence, guys, for Crit Strike damage buff as well. Always good. Crit Strike damage, guys, for the win. Then, last tree, guys, is actually... Blood buff. I know, the overpower tree. We're not using the overpower stuff on the node itself. We're only going here because it's just so easy to get to here. So um, we're finishing on export, guys, for extra vulnerable damage. Then here, we've got some uh, damage while fortified. Okay. Damage while fortified here as well. So because um, we're fortifying from the Senshao pet, we're getting this extra damage bonus, guys, on top. It's really, really nice. And then we finish over here, guys. Damage to healthy over here as well. And there you go. So that is the Paragon tree. And there you go, guys. Um, as usual, thanks very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Subscribe for more. I'm doing full summoner next. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks very much for watching and have fun in Sanctuary, guys. GG.